Got a nice little hack I'm about to put y'all onto. I guess the goal is to reach a thousand. All right. <laughs> Add that on. We're almost at 800 bucks. All right, y'all. Welcome to Hustlers University. <laughs> not playing but i am not playing about us hustling so recently i went under my bed and looked at literally all the random shoes that have accumulated throughout probably the past like four years that alongside like my 10 and 20 dollar rack in my booth like i'm taking all that and dropping it off to hopefully make some good money but right now we're touching up some of the shoes just cleaning it off a little bit to make it look a little better than it is look at these Air Force ones. Remember when this had a chokehold on the literally the whole world in 2020? Yeah, with the yellowed soles. Switched it out, if you can see, with like the cream laces. Let's see what else we got in here. These orange creamsicle vans. These Converse are actually super dope. Fun fact, if you guys can look really closely right there, on my birthday, I think it was my 20th birthday, I wore these and I was leading in the youth camp and some junior high girl thought it'd be a great idea to chase me around with chocolate syrup <laughs> got all over my shoes on my birthday mind you but uh yeah these are actually pretty cool but those are going these doc martens oh, literally dust the platform joints i got these in, like in 2020 these are actually one of my most viewed videos on youtube i did like 10 ways to style it these black joints my favorite shoes of all time doc martin agent loafers cherry red are my all-time favorites but these I literally wore non-stop. They're super beat, but that's pretty much it. But we're just gonna touch them up, wipe them down. Just trying to get rid of stuff. I just do not like sitting on random stuff, stuff that I don't like. And so, you know, trying to make some quick, easy money and uh, also get rid of stuff at the same time. All right, y'all, we got one bag of clothes right here. The bag of shoes right here. Another bag of clothes back there. And then we got two more back here. So yeah, in totality, we got five bags that we were trying to get rid of. Hopefully it's good, man. I'm confident though that we're gonna make some good money dropping these clothes off because I got a nice little hack I'm about to put y'all onto. I mean, it's not really a hack. Like, pretty sure everyone should know this, but the place I'm dropping it off to is Flashbacks. It's a local like buy, sell, trade. Kind of like a nicer, Buffalo Exchange. We got Buffalo Exchange too, but this one pays a little bit better and they got way better stuff. <sighs> Alright y'all, bags are dropped. They're going through it right now, but your boy's hungry. I'm out of meal prep. As you guys know, I like to uh, meal prep so I can save money and eat healthy. So, I do not want to lose this parking spot though because this one's by the beach. And so like parking spots just be getting taken like that. And so I just need to figure out where to eat. I'm only doing carbs once a day. Haven't had carbs yet, but what can we eat near me that won't cost a damn arm and a leg? But what I was saying earlier, the hack is since there's multiple locations of this like buy sell trade spot called flashbacks whatever they won't take i'm gonna drive down to the location that's like 15 minutes away <laughs> sweet. dropping off a much lighter load I am not mad at that, y'all. That was kind of around what I was hoping for. But remember, all these things, we're gonna also drop off down the street, like 10, 15 minutes away. Not today though, because we are losing daylight. It's already almost 5 p.m. Y'all, they were looking at my stuff for like two, three hours. I'm gonna give you guys a little hint. First person to get, I'll give you guys two hints or two chances to win. I haven't done this in a while on my YouTube video, but uh, whoever can get closest to the specific in these two categories, I'll give you respectively $5 each in your Venmo, just for fun, just for guessing. I sold a number amount of items. This one's for items. Between 50 and 100. You have to guess how many items I sold there and whoever is the closest, I'll give you $5. And then the total amount of money that I got for selling these clothes, so I have like 200-ish store credit at the spot um, that I haven't cashed out. 
And so this is one hint I'll give y'all in terms of how much money was actually made. They gave me a store credit option of 900 bucks. I didn't take it, I took the cash this time. And it is between 500, I'll make this one easier. It's between 500 and 600. So you have to guess in between there, whoever's the closest to the actual number amount of the items or the money amount, I'll give you $5 Venmo, comment items, boom, or money, boom. Whoever's the closest, I got you guys $5 Venmo. Yeah, I'll take it. I will absolutely take it. Alrighty, y'all. Next day with it, like I said, running a little late, it's like 3.08, but we are almost to the second location of the spot. And y'all, I'm not gonna lie, tomorrow, I might just go to the third location. I'm not gonna lie. And then, oh, y'all twerking? Come on, come on back. And then whatever they don't take after tomorrow, I'm gonna take to Buffalo Exchange. That's like the last. And then whatever they don't take from there, just start the cycle over again. <laughs> no, at that point, I'll probably donate it back. But yeah, let's see how much we can make today. And I brought this up to, uh, I told my fiance this yesterday. She was like, is that kind of sketchy that you're doing that? I'm like, nah, it's like three different locations. Like, that's not sketchy at all. That's like going to one Starbucks and then going to another down the street. It's, you're still helping out the business. You know what I mean? And people in charge of buying, they got different tastes than the other ones at the different stores. So it ain't what it is. All right, y'all, here we are again. All righty, y'all, golden hour is upon us. I'm really trying to milk those four bags of clothes. Now I feel like I can fit it into like three bags of clothes. They took another 22 items. This time I'll tell y'all. It was under 200 bucks though. It was like 280 store credit, but I already have like store credit there. Speaking of which, I bought a pair of boots, steel toe, like distressed black boots. I forgot the actual like terminology for it. Oh my gosh, look how moody, artsy on my eye. <laughs> Yo, that's crazy. But yeah, um, it was 157, the check that she wrote me. So we were like a little over 700 bucks, y'all. A little over 700 bucks. Drop it off to two more spots tomorrow. I guess the goal is to reach a thousand. It was all items that I've had for like over a month, like two months. So even though it's items that like I should be selling in the booth, the fact that it wasn't selling in the booth, I'm like, all right, get rid of it. Let me get more. Even though the bins have been whack, I'm still like, you know, I gotta get rid of stuff. And there aren't really any prominent events that I have coming up to where it's worth it to save these clothes. And again, like I'm curating a bunch of stuff, my best stuff that I've found and stuff that I like for the site coming up. So to me, it doesn't really hurt me that bad. As long as I'm making profit on these clothes, then I'm good. And it kind of puts more money in my pocket to pay for whatever bills, groceries, and to buy more clothes. And so I'm not that mad. Oh my gosh, did someone say golden hour? Anywho, uh, yeah, let me show y'all the boots real quick. Boom, it's got that nice distressing on the forefront of the shoe all across some really bad heel drag but i'm gonna beat these up anyway so i'm gonna just add more character to it more wear just adds to the story of the book yo the homie dylan came yo, through up, said what up Miguel, the boy over here. my guy hey, take care bro my name is patron on ice that was call the old, old old miguel call me miggy it's miguel v patron though Dude, you're messing up, dude. Start again. Restart. Okay. My name's uh, Paternal Nine. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. So I couldn't diggity dig anything too crazy for myself or anything to resell. But I pulled up on the homie Darwin. He's got some things. Let's see what we got. We got some things. All right, let's see what he can do for the buy. Can we ask for the prices? Yeah. Okay, let's do it. All right. All the games so we said 10 on this. Like Wait, what's, let him know what this is. You said you searched uh, it up. It's like an 80s Christian rock band, I think. Boycott hell, y'all. Yeah, I'm literally I'm about to throw this on today because I got a black thermal underneath this. I'm about to just rock this. Hopefully it's not anything like devilish, dude, or else. I, I mean, I'm pretty sure it's a Christian rock. All right, dude. 70s, girls from college. 
15. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, thermal, this one's 15. 15, pause, pause. You can tend to your okay, customers. You Look at this guy. What a businessman. This guy's a hardworking guy, y'all. He works at SDGNA full time, but still slang and vintage. What a guy. You guys know this guy's in charge of your guys' electrical bill? <laughs> I'm the ops, that's why your electrical bill 15, 15, 10, 45. Where are we at? 45. Wanna do 70 for all of it? Uh 1250 each. 25 for these two and then Yeah. Yeah. So we're at 70? Yeah. I like these. The three in the back are just a little bit smaller. Yeah, they are small. Um what are you thinking about on those guys? <laughs> guys, I can't. No, 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 no. <laughs> Let me tell you. Uh, you can tell you can see. There was a he got it from a different vintage person and they had their hang tag it was like he got hey, it for 10 chill, bucks chill, wait, delete that, i was like yeah why do you still have that hey, honestly i was in a rush i forgot so. <sighs> but yeah nice little it's like a lime colored loop collar i like the i, I just really like yeah, the color and design yeah. i have a bunch of these like actually like gabardine like rayon yeah I embroidery right here yeah. Yeah, yeah my personal cool cool so um we were at 70 and then yeah what do you got for these last uh, three I mean, for these ones, uh, is 20 too much for you? Or um, you make some money on it too? Or? Yeah. Uh, what would you sell them on? I was going to say like 45. 45 for all three? 15 of these? Just because they're smaller. Yeah, no, I could do tricky. That's cool. Um, I mean, I'm going to try to. Uh, 45? Yeah. Cool. 35. 35. That's quite lit. That's a good color. Uh, no, I, I see the little vent. Really got a little yeah, I got to 45, bro. It's a little early. 45, 40. What about that? It's early until I'm the first one. You want to flip for it? Yeah. Sheesh, on the vlog. Yeah. You want to call it in the. Uh, yeah, we do a syrup you want. Yeah. All right, uh, which one do you want? Uh, I'll do Tails. Tails? Yeah. Hey Siri, flip a coin. I got speak it too. Oh, shit. Who won? Guys, with me today. Nah, you got it? Yeah, yes, sir. Delete that, delete that. All right, let's coin flip. 100 or free? Oh, <laughs> Just kidding. Oh, I can't stop. <laughs> no face. 130. Stop. Appreciate you, my boy. Thank you, sir. All right, y'all. Here are the goodies. Nothing too crazy today. That's why I figured I'd spend a little bit at the homie's booth, just so I can really like, find better stuff. Oh, here's a better look at the boots that I got too. Here's what I mean by it's like super distressed, super worn in. I might change into these actually. But yeah, I got this. This is where I went to high school, Mount Carmel. So this tie dye is actually kind of crazy with a big wrestling graphic in the front right there. Yo, what are they doing? Got this shirt, little baby tee, super cool. Mount Carmel, why not? This shirt, beach track. Just got it because it's black. Everyone likes black shirts. Um, but the buyout from the homies booth, 130 for nine pieces. I'll take it. I got four loop collar shirts. Uh, most of them are small though. I think he charged me like 15 each. This one's cool, a little McGregor. Nice print on it. This blank one right over here, blank white. Nice color on this loop. And then we got a little Bolin shirt, white and black. Rollies, truck sales. Boom, white and black. 70s Russell T, Grossmont. This is local to San Diego. This one's local to San Diego too. That's why I got it, thought it was dope. Mesa Boogie, boom. Brown Thermal, who doesn't love thermals? This one's brown, I don't really see a lot of brown color thermals. Last item was this, he said it was a, like an 80s a Christian rock band uh, sweatshirt. Super sick, Boycott Hell. Here's a bad graphic. I might just throw this on later. I'm wearing like a black thermal underneath this. Might look good together. But yeah, y'all, that's the buy-in day. Sometimes you gotta pay up to get some things that you like. But here we go though, y'all. Third location, trying to sell the same clothes. Let's see if we can milk this anymore. What's so funny is before I walk in there, I literally had to triple check that there was no like same employee that was maybe covering a shift here from another location that I was already at. Just to, you know, make sure there's not the same buyers. But now I'm gonna actually go to the mall, which is like 10 minutes away. So as they're counting, I'm gonna go to the mall to try and see what suits from like either Zara or H&M, uh, what suits will go best with my brown suit that I'm gonna be wearing for my wedding. Just because I don't even know what my grooms are gonna wear. I'm trying to be efficient with the time here, you know? Here. Yeah. 
<laughs> Hopefully when I come back, they're done and they hand me a $400 check. <laughs> All right, babe, you're gonna guess which one I would choose. If I could shop at these one places for the rest of my life. Forever 21, H&M, Zara, Cotton On, Urban Outfitters. Did I say H&M already? Yeah. Of all those places, which one do you think I would shop at for the rest of my life? Um, probably, wait, Zara, Urban Outfitters. You gotta choose one. Urban Outfitters. Nope, which Zara. One? Really? Yeah. I think, or it might be Urban Outfitters actually. I, think I, would I don't know, well, that's a great question. I, I didn't even know myself. Zara or Urban Outfitters? I don't even know. Not H&M. Unless they give me a brand deal. <laughs> okay, you can't really tell what the color is. But that color with my brown, we gotta put up like a picture of my brown right here. Don't mind this, we gotta get this tailored. But, uh, <laughs> It's too similar, huh? We're gonna go for more of like a creamish beige, not a gray, just because mine is like a grayish brown. But yeah, now is the moment of truth, y'all. Pulling back up the flashback. I'm I'm hoping it's more than 100, but uh, that's kind of where my guesstimate is gonna be at, 100. I'd be super happy if there was more, but I'm gonna say 100 and uh, wish for the best. All right, y'all, let's pick this bad boy up. Um, 10 items, 119.70 store credit or a check for 71.82? Cool. I'll do, I'll do the check today, yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> so, wasn't even 100, 71, but add that on, we're almost at 800 bucks. Just for items that I didn't want. Now if I want, I could technically go to Buffalo Exchange across the street. But that's extra. I think I think I maxed it out at this point. If anything, like I'll bring those out to an event. Five dollar pile. Um, I'd be happy with that. Probably gonna title this video "Easiest Way to Make a Thousand Dollars Selling Vintage." This is how it be, y'all. You never know. You might just come up like crazy like this. No, nah, but on the real. Sometimes this how sales are. There's like absolutely nothing. But that's the reality of it. You gotta count your losses. Andrew wins. The way that you walk in the room, girl, you're making it harder to function. Step on the scene, you're looking at me, and my heart started jumping. And they'll never get it, cause baby, they think it's just casual love. 